Hey everyone, Raj Diut here for Reckoner with a look back at the tech news in the week that was December 3rd to December 9th, 2017. Facebook launched the Messenger for Kids app this week. The new standalone app allows parents with an existing Facebook account to sign up their children to the new service and control whom they connect with. The app is full of Snapchat-like filters as well as stickers and curated GIFs that kids can use whilst talking to their approved relatives and friends. Available now in the US on iOS, the app will launch on Android later this month. Qualcomm held the second annual tech summit in Hawaii this week, making a series of new announcements. The first, a new line of laptops running on Qualcomm's ARM-based Snapdragon 835 chip. The new laptops from HP and Asus run on an ARM-based version of Windows 10 and have a battery life that can last up to 30 days on standby and almost a full 24 hours worth of active use. The first of these, the Asus Nova Go, will be available in early next year for US $599. A new partnership with AMD was also announced at the summit. AMD is looking to create a new line of always connected, ultra-thin laptops using its Ryzen mobile processor in conjunction with Qualcomm's LTE modem as used in the Snapdragon processors. The new laptops are expected to hit mid-2018. Qualcomm also used the event to take the wraps off its new Snapdragon 845 processor destined to power Android phones and now Windows ARM laptops of the future. The new processor reportedly offers a 30% improvement in processing power and battery life as well as enabling 4K HDR video capture. Gaming's Oscars, known as the Game Awards, was held on Thursday night in the US. Game of the Year honours went to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, as many expected, but it was the awards announcements that offered the most excitement. A new walking simulator looks to be coming from Firewatch developer Campo Santo, called In the Valley of Gods. The game is still under development and isn't due until 2019. Hideo Kojima's eternally obscure Death Stranding had an extended trailer confirming how truly bizarre and little we know about the game. And from software, makers of Dark Souls and Bloodborne offered the teaser of teasers for an upcoming title. Finally, Nvidia announced a new video card on Friday. The new Titan V is Nvidia's first GPU to make use of the new Volta architecture and whilst called consumer at US 2999 is well beyond the average consumer budget. That's it for another week. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please hit that like, love, applause or thumbs up button on your platform of choice and tell a friend about the show. This week on the website, we have not one but four holiday gift guides from the team with ideas ranging in price from $25 to $25,000. You can also catch me playing through the first hour of the Game Awards winning Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus. Thanks for tuning in, have a great week and bye for now.